And our first in-studio guest, that is Jordan Lowry, a winger on the BYU rugby team, a guy winger. who has not lost a national championship game. Who do you dislike more, Stanford or Cal? Well, going into the game tomorrow, I'd have to say Cal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's that the a, appropriate answer. That's a firm, <laughs> yeah. solid response. <laughs> Can you discuss the rivalry with Cal? Like, you have Utah. That is a huge rivalry. Mm -hmm. But Cal, you're always playing them for the national championship. It's a unique dynamic. Yeah, the, the relationship we have with Cal is just, it's the, the best. You know, we end up playing them almost every year in the national championship, so there's, there's no other rivalry that I've heard that's like that, so it's, it's awesome. And there's, there's respect there because you're, you're both the elite teams, yet, like, do you hate Cal like you don't like Utah? I mean, is it the same? No, I wouldn't say it's the same. We, like you said, we have this respect for each other. Um, two great teams that just come out to play and have a good game. It's you, always a good game. I you can it. make an argument that rugby is the most dominant sport on campus at BYU. What has allowed that to happen and, and progress the way that it has? Um, one thing I think is the tradition. It's just it's always been good. And then the, the coaching that we have and then the influence that we get from foreign players that come and share their experience that have been playing their entire lives. You know, we've only played a couple years and they share a lot of experience with us, so it helps out a so lot. So rugby has always been good. I mean, even from the get-go. Yeah. Wow. Not many programs can say that. Uh, <laughs> up, up until, what was it, uh, 2004 or 5, uh, BYU was, uh, there was Sunday play involved, so BYU wasn't involved. Mm -hmm. So BYU's come into the game the last uh, 12 or 13 years because the Sunday play went away, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, it kind of changed. Jordan Lowry, a winger on the BYU rugby team, facing Cal tomorrow in the Varsity Cup National Championship matches on BYU Sports Nation. You guys have enjoyed, uh, enjoyed some home field advantage. You had to go back east and play Dartmouth uh, at Navy, but then you played Navy in Provo, uh, beat them 60 to nothing. Now you play at Rio Tinto, where you've been able to play the last uh, couple years. How, uh, or I guess, what kind of difference does it make to be able to play the game in Utah as opposed to go back to Palo Alto where it used to be the last several years before that. I think it definitely helps having a home crowd advantage because when you make a play or something, the crowd just goes nuts, and then that lights your fire to just keep on going and play harder. So it definitely helps. Jordan Lowry is a junior winger. He will compete for a fourth national title with BYU Rugby tomorrow at Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy, Utah, against Cal Berkeley. You dominated Navy as a team. You dominated Dartmouth before that in the quarterfinals. There's one specific play I want to bring up, though. The Paul Lasique boomstick moment oh, down man. the sideline. Where were you on the field, <laughs> and what were you seeing when that happened? So I was actually over on the opposite end of the field, and I couldn't really see what happened. But I saw Paul just run past this guy, and the guy was flattened. And <laughs> then I watched it on YouTube um, later on to actually see what happened, and I see why the crowd was so loud as they were. Do you credit BYU football for that at least a little bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. That was a truck stick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right there. Has he changed his style of running a little bit from being a running back? I think so, about, like, looking to run through people instead of just going off to the side. Yeah, Explain sure. the winger position. Uh, what specific skill set do you have to have to be successful at your position on the field? Um, for a winger, they expect you to make plays. You're on the very edge of the, the field. Speed, I would imagine. So they, they expect you have agility, speed, and every time you get the ball, they expect you to make a play. Jordan Lowry's on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, tomorrow, NBC Sports Network uh, will carry the game live, which is really cool. In the past, it's been uh, taped late or online only. But now you get to play live on national TV. What kind of difference uh, does that make in preparation, if any difference at all? Well, it probably just might make us a little more nervous <laughs> for the game, but it's it's super exciting. It's it's amazing what it'll do, not only for the game, but for rugby here in America. And unfortunately, I say for BYU's angle, Sevens has been on TV a bunch the last couple of years, but they end up playing the title game on Sunday, so you guys don't end up participating. Mm -hmm. So now you get your chance to shine. Yeah. Are you guys ready for this, the yeah. national TV spotlight? Yeah, we're up for it. We're excited. What's the recovery process like for you after – a hard-fought rugby match? <laughs> well, usually we get a Monday. We'll have a game on Saturday. We get Sunday. Usually we'll get Monday off and hopefully to be ready to go by Tuesday. Usually we're, we're still kind of sore on Tuesday, but, yeah, usually about three or four days, and then we're good to go again. Wow. So being on the outside, does that allow you to 
avoid some of those bumps and bruises with the uh, the big hosses up front? Like, are, are you okay with being a winger because you can some you can avoid maybe more of the contact? Yeah, I, I'd say I enjoy my position. I, <laughs> I stay out of a lot of the rocks. And you the don't need to be a prop and stuff like that. So yeah, I stay out of that stuff. And it's interesting because I, I think when people associate rugby, they just think of like you know a massive you know prop or lock that's in the scrum and in the rucks and all that a lot of times. But there are there are opportunities if you're a shorter guy but you're quick like yourself, uh, you still got to be you still got to be tough or Paul Asike is going to throw you aside like a like a train ragdoll. Uh, what for other players that you kind of are in contact with? What do you what uh, advice do you give them to be able to play rugby if you are a little kind of a smaller guy? I'd say no matter what your body type is, there's there's a position for everyone. There's props, there's locks that are tall, skinny guys. There's your 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 huge runners. There's your wings that can be smaller and quicker. It's really a sport that any any body type could play. Jordan Lowry, junior winger Except for mine. of BYU Rugby <laughs> got, on BYU crushed. Sports Nation, competing for a fourth national championship tomorrow at Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy, Utah. We have nationwide viewers, worldwide viewers on this show, Jordan. Some, I'm guessing, that have never seen a rugby match. So you have 30 seconds to convince somebody that has never seen rugby, either in person or on TV, why they need to watch tomorrow. Go. So if you like the big hits from football, but you don't like how long it is, you like soccer, how it keeps on going, um, rugby is the sport for you. It's, it's the biggest hits. It's continuous and it's it's the most exciting game to watch or play in. So it, to need to watch, you won't be disappointed. That's pretty good. I'm ready to go. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm ready to rock. And I I had a former roommates that were on the BYU rugby team. Uh, Steve St. Pierre, Derek Smith, those guys. Your freshman year as I kind of got to know mm-hmm. you, uh, which was really fun. And I fell in love with rugby. Luckily, we had this channel called Satanta. They show rugby all the time. <laughs> so I bought rugby for dummies because BYU TV was doing... <laughs> Some games, and I needed to learn how to do it. Do you remember the Utah State game that year, your freshman year? Yeah. One eleven to three. What? Utah State jumped out to a three nothing lead, and then BYU went went on an eleven one hundred eleven to zero run. <laughs> you guys crushed fools, and that was that was the first year you beat Cal. Like you got over this hump to finally beat Cal. Now it's kind of different when you play the Golden Bears. It's like you ex- you expect to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in years past, it's. Um, they had beat BYU maybe five years in a row in the championship, and then we finally and, got and over them. And crushed sometimes. It yeah. wasn't, like, close at all. Yeah. And now we finally got over them, and, and it's, it's pretty much equal now, and, and we can run with them, and we know that we can beat them. With BYU rugby being a club sport, what is the recruitment process like? What happens when guys want to come check out the team, and, and how do they get involved with uh, Coach Smith and, and want to be a part of this program? I'd say it's the coaches going out and um, – um, visiting high schools, um, that's how me and another, um, some other players, Kyle Sumption, Chris Wernley, we were all recruited that way. They came and visited us at practice. They also put on a sports camp through the summer, and hundreds of kids come out to that. So I say those are probably the biggest ways that they and do And you it. played for the club team United, correct? Correct, yeah. So wh- how did that start? Like, when did this rugby overflow of awesomeness start in Utah and locally it's in the the nearby Alpine Utah Everyone area. knew about Highland but now United's emerged yeah, well, how did as this well, how right? did this start I yeah in Alpine it started my sophomore year in high school and it wasn't very big I go on my mission come back and it's just it's huge um just the the culture and I think spread of word everyone was like hey this game's really awesome come out and play it and and everyone just fell in love with it. How did you get involved in rugby? Uh, my older brother actually started playing, and I was on the baseball team, so I was like, uh, I don't think I can come out. Baseball didn't work out, so I went and tried it out, and I fell in love with it. Jordan Lowry, junior winger for the BYU rugby team, is on BYU Sports Nation National Championship game tomorrow against California in the Salt Lake City area at Rio Tinto Stadium, 4 Eastern, 2 Mountain, on NBC Sports Network. We talked about you playing with United, and when you came back, did you kind of just feel like, well, the sport is, has, has reached an all-time high, not only in Utah, but in the United States? Because that's the feeling that I get as I watch rugby, that it's just becoming more and more popular in the States, and I never thought that would the happen. The Olympics help with that, right? Yeah, how do, you, how do you feel about that? Oh, yeah, definitely with the Olympics, with rugby being in the Olympics, that's, that's making everyone excited about it. Um, football players turning over to rugby, wanting a chance to play in the Olympics. It's uh, really helped out a lot. I want to tell a story before we finish that I just oh, okay. remembered. So uh, having been roommates with some of your old teammates, 
taking second for BYU rugby in the national title game is is uh, not acceptable. One time I was doing laundry in our house and I noticed this. It looked like a dinner plate, and I there was garbage on it probably and clothes. I tossed that stuff aside and looked at the plate. It was the second place trophy from 08. <laughs> 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 like, it wasn't in a trophy case on campus. It wasn't uh, recognized as something awesome. Or eat macaroni was, and cheese on it. It was, yeah. It was in our <laughs> laundry room with garbage on it. Like, oh, like BYU Rugby believes in winning the national title or nothing. Like, I love that standard. I love that that's the case. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, after a loss, no one will keep their jerseys. Like, after we win a championship, we'll keep the trophy. We'll keep our jerseys. And it's, it's all fun. But after a loss, you know, we... We don't really want that plate or whatever. Everyone takes off their jersey all Madden. Second so, place yeah. medals left on the field wow. before. That, also, that. like handed to you and just left there. Championship or bust, baby. Hey, do you mind uh, signing our Rise Up flag? Oh, yeah, sure. Give us we, your autograph. We carry this into battle every day. All of our in-studio guests sign this flag. And we award you, Jordan Lowry, BYU Sports Nation Karma There tomorrow. are good vibes <sighs> from this show to awesome. go and to succeed you and the against team. Cal. Good. I need it. I'm excited. <laughs> well, good luck. Go beat Cal. Go win a national championship. All right. Thanks, Will. Jordan Thanks, Lowry. Jordan.